ourselves in because today we are going deep, really deep into the world of physics. Deeper than a black hole? Maybe not quite that deep, but okay. pretty darn close. Okay, I like it. We're tackling the big one, the laws that govern pretty much everything around us. You got it. We're diving headfirst into Newton's laws of motion. Newton's laws of motion. You've sent over some really fascinating stuff, and I'm actually pretty excited to see how much these laws yeah. really impact our everyday life. Oh, they do. They really, really do. All right, let's get into it. So we got these three laws, right, laid down by the one and only Sir Isaac Newton, and they basically form the bedrock of classical mechanics, Yeah. which is like the science of how things move. Exactly. These laws are all about how objects move and how forces act upon them, cause them to move or not move. Or make them stop moving or exactly. all that jazz. Right. Okay, so first up, Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia. Ooh, inertia. Inertia. The power of staying put. Or the power of keeping on going. Or the power of keeping on going, exactly. It basically states that an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion, traveling at the same speed and in the same direction, unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Uh-huh. Okay, that seems straightforward enough, but could you give us like a real world example? Yes, of, of course. What this actually looks like. So imagine you've got your coffee cup just sitting there on your desk. Okay, right. It's not going to suddenly decide to take a trip across the room unless something gives it a push or a pull. Right, like my cat. Exactly, like your cat or like a sudden earthquake. That would do it. Okay, so it's not that things just like to stay still. It's more like they resist any change in their state of motion. That's it. Whether that's stillness or movement. You got it. You got it. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Right. Okay. So that's inertia. Things like to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah. But what happens when a force does act on an object? That's where Newton's second law comes in, right? Yeah. You're talking about acceleration now? Acceleration. Okay. Break that down for us. So this law tells us that the more force you apply to something, uh -huh. the faster it's going to speed up. Okay. But there's another factor in play here. Okay. It's the object's mass. You know how heavy it is? So like a bowling ball versus a tennis ball. Exactly. Exactly. So. A bowling ball is way heavier, so even if you give it a good hard shove, it's not going to accelerate as quickly as that tennis ball would. Right. It's all about the FMA. Oh, you got the equation there. Force equals mass times acceleration. You got it. Such a simple equation, but it explains so much. It really does, and we can use it to figure out all sorts of stuff, like yeah. how much force you need to launch a rocket. Right. Or even to just lift a heavy box. Okay, so we've covered things at rest, things in motion, and how forces affect their acceleration. We're on a roll. But now it's time for my favorite law. Oh, here we go. Newton's third law. The law of action and reaction. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. This one always feels a little bit like magic to me. I know what you mean, but it's not magic. It's yeah. physics. Okay, can you give us a mind-blowing example of this law in action? Think of a rocket launching into space. Okay. It blasts hot gas out downwards. Right, the big fiery plume. Exactly. And that's the action. Okay. And because of that force pushing down, there's an equal force pushing the rocket upwards. Whoa. So it's like the gas is pushing the rocket away? Exactly. It's yeah. pushing it up into space. Wow. That's incredible. It's pretty wild. So this whole action-reaction thing, it's not just for rockets though, right? No, no, not at all. What about something a little more down to earth? Think about jumping, just jumping up in the air. Okay. You're pushed down on the ground with your legs. That's the action. Mm -hmm. And what happens? The ground pushes back and I go up. Exactly. The ground pushes back with an equal force, sending you up in the air. So that's why I don't just, like, sink into the ground every time I take a step. Exactly. Newton's third law at work. Okay, so these laws are at work all around us all the time. All the time, yeah. It's like a secret code governing the universe. It kind of is. It's the language of physics. And once you start to see it, yeah. it's like a whole new world opens up. It really does. It changes how you see everything. Okay, so next time I'm struggling to open a stubborn jar, mm -hmm. I'm going to be thinking about Newton's third law and how I need to apply more force. More force, yep. To overcome that equal and opposite reaction from the lid. You got it. Physics to the rescue. Exactly. And maybe next time you watch a basketball game, yeah. think about the forces involved. Okay. When the players jump, when they shoot, when they dribble, it's all physics in motion. So what you're saying is if I understand Newton's laws well enough, 
I can become a basketball superstar. Well, understanding the physics is one thing, right. but you still need the skills. All right, all right, fair enough. But it definitely gives you an appreciation for the game. It really does. It really does. Yeah. It's like a whole new level of understanding and appreciating. It's like seeing the matrix, right? The matrix of motion. The matrix of motion. Okay, so as we wrap things up, what's the one big takeaway you want our listeners to remember about Newton's laws of motion? They're not just some abstract equations in a textbook. Right. They're the fundamental principles that govern how our world works. They're the rules of the game. Exactly. They're everywhere, all around us, all the time. It's almost like the universe is playing a giant game of physics. And we're all just players in it. Okay. That's yep. a pretty mind-blowing thought to leave our listeners with. I hope it inspires them to look at the world around them with a little more curiosity. See the physics in action. Exactly. You never know what amazing discoveries are waiting to be made. Well, on that note, we'll leave you all to ponder the invisible forces shaping our universe. Keep those brains buzzing. And until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of science. And physics. And physics. See you later. See ya.